Doug recalls, we planned to go camping and got caught in a snowstorm at elevation while snowshoeing to the campsite. We had to hike out in the dark with headlamps. Marty thought it was hilarious. Thank goodness. <laughs> Drama. There may have been a breakup, followed by heartfelt reconsideration and a beautiful reconciliation. Family. This is a modern day Brady Bunch. Doug's two daughters, Whitney and Morgan, and two sons, Grayson and Eli, combined with Marty, Marty's daughter, Josie, and son, Ian, brings us to an even six good-looking and intelligent children. There's still an opening for the role of Alice. <laughs> if you've been paying attention this weekend, you've noticed that each of these kids brings something unique and harmonious to this new family. This is a beautiful thing. Food. Food is an important com component of any good story and relationship. Fortunately, Doug is an excellent chef and thrives in a house full of loved ones to cook for. I foresee this new home as a gathering place where family and friends feast on love, conversation, and good food. Love. There is so much love. Doug and I have been friends for nearly 20 years. It's been great to see him so happy, so in love, and so taken with Marty. Anytime hanging out with Doug always includes the words, I can't believe how awesome Marty is, <laughs> which continues into a blissful soliloquy of some new incredible thing Marty says or does that he just discovered. I'm so glad Doug found Marty. Marty is intelligent, beautiful, and funny. She's an adventurous, interesting, well-spoken globetrotter. And then there's Doug, a curious... <laughs> this is <good. laughs> And then there's Doug, a curious and compassionate leader, confident, wise, and witty. Here are two people that found each other among four billion on this planet. What a beautiful match. So every book starts with a sentence, grows into a paragraph, evolves into chapters, and eventually an ending. This story is the beginning of a remarkable collection of books yet to be written. A quote from Patrick Rothfuss in The Wise Man's Fear, one of my favorite books, talks about love. Anyone can love a thing because that's as easy as putting a penny in your pocket. But to love something despite, to know the flaws and love them too, that is rare and pure and perfect. So here's to the perfect union. <laughs> of Doug and Marty. <laughs> they will now share their wedding vows. Marty, you said yes when I asked you on a very spontaneous first date to go watch an extreme skiing movie in Boulder. You said yes, sort of, when I asked you if I could kiss you on our second date. You said yes every time I dream up a crazy adventure for us. Whether it's a 10 mile hike in the rain, backcountry skiing in a blizzard, or inviting all of our friends up to Breckenridge for a three day wedding police. I fell in love with you on our second date in the grocery aisle at Whole Foods while you were talking to some lady about shucking oysters. <laughs> that joy for life that you have is contagious. You bring that same joy and love to everyone around you and it has absolutely captured my heart. I wrote this for you almost a year ago, and I remember asking you when I shared it with you, does this actually count as a poem? And reading through it again, it seemed very fitting for today. Hopefully it feels at least a little bit poetic. It's my attempt to put into words your Martiness, that specialness you have that makes you such an amazingly loving, kind, and caring person. When I see you, I see beauty. I see morning coffee. I see a, a caring friend. I see softness, I see candlelight, I see generosity, I see sadness being lifted, I see adventure, I see picnics, I see the glue in so many relationships, I see hugs, I see strength, I see laughter, I see kisses, I see the nurturing of children, I see a partner, I see the future, I see love and now, 
I see my wife, I see our family, and I see the rest of our lives together. It's fitting that Patrick's officiating today because as you heard, almost every day for nearly two years, he's heard some form of Marty did this or that. Can you believe it? Uh, to the kiddos, we love you. We're so lucky to have such amazing kids, big and not so big. Uh, this whole thing is crazy and we're so excited for the adventure with all of you. Thank you for letting us drag you along for the ride and we promise to make it a great one. Marty, you and I did the math and as we calculated it, we've got 50 years together to love and care for one another, <laughs> to watch these kids grow up, to become amazing grandparents, and to adventure all over the world together. I can't wait to wear ourselves out. To quote from our song that we love so much and that we'll dance to later tonight, there she is, isn't she everything? I will give, I will give anything, anything you need. You are everything, and I love you with all my heart. So, Doug and I always say we do everything backwards and out of order, and I personally love that about us. We don't have to follow the conventions of the world, but instead we can do things in our own way and in our own time. When we got our application for our marriage license, he said, isn't it perfect that in Colorado we can marry ourselves? We can just declare we're married, and then we can sign the paper, and we're married. However, we chose to share it with all of you today, and we wanted to share our reasons why we're choosing each other. So, my dear Doug, a.k.a. Cuds, if someone were to ask me why I love you and why I choose you to be with for the next 49 and a half years, we're still fighting about that math, I would have to say, it's because your heart is enormous, your love for those around you, your kids, your family, me and my kids, and your friends is equally bestowed back upon you. Your grace under fire amazes me. You literally laugh at the world when most people, including me, get burdened and stressed out. Your strength and confidence continues to impress me. I know you'd agree with me that you're the best, easily. <laughs> I've never met anyone with as much lust for life as you. You've taught me so much about experiencing life and never wasting an opportunity to do this day. You've taken me on adventures to some of the best places on earth. We've hiked, camped, cross-country skied, paddleboarded, run races, mountain biked, and we've already had two honeymoons, and hopefully we'll have about 49 more. I love how we can sit in silence or go on an adventure or just watch Fixer Upper on a Sunday morning and be equally fulfilled just because we're near each other. Every day we have so much fun. Every day I find out something more about you that confirms my love for you. Every day, every day I see you conquer life in all of your realms. Every day I see you optimize our opportunities to live, to adventure, to experience all this world has to offer. It's been so amazing to get to know your wonderful kiddos. I love seeing them tackle life's road bumps with the same grace and calmness as you. I see them face challenges head on with the same positive gusto as you. And I'm lucky to get them as part of the package. We've told many of our friends the story of when you first asked if you could kiss me on our second date. And my response was, I'm not opposed. <laughs> Today we sit in front of our friends and family, the most important people in our lives, and what I want to say now about being your wife and what I really should have said back then is, heck yeah, absolutely, entirely, with all my heart, I want to be your wife and I want to be with you and I want to begin our lives together as partners today and for the next 49 and a half years. <laughs> Marty, I choose you to cherish, to love, to care for, and to spend the rest of my life with as your husband. Doug, I choose you to cherish, to love, to care for, and to spend the rest of my life as your wife. 